see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Now the starting group for Orlando. They've got Smart. He's out there with Clay Thompson. Turner is out there with DeRozan. It's Kevin Kelly in at the four spot. And for Philadelphia, George is out there with Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Evan Mobley. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's Plumley in at the five. And as the season draws to a close, GA, we've got teams vying for playoff position, only adding to the importance of each game now. And for those teams, you have to have the right mentality. You can't treat these like normal regular season games. These are an extension of the playoffs. So the Orlando Magic able to put the first points up on the board. Van Vliet. Harris finds George. That's tipped. Just four to shoot. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And definitely a shot George willing to take. His stroke makes it easy work for him. Harris looking it over. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Van Vliet outside. Tries again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's that one on DeRozan. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve. But he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And the second free throw, good. And it's smart with the ball for the Orlando Magic. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. They took the air out of the crowd again and again with big shots. They never let the fans become a factor. Now here's Mobley. Shot clock at five. Here's Harris. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. And there's the call on Evan Mobley. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Out to Thompson. Back to Smart. Pass to Turner. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. The great point guards keep their eyes up on the court. Young players should watch how smart goes about this man's business. Here's Plumlee. Outside for George. Shot clock at six. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. George has got his second basket of the game. A good ball handler with an advanced offensive repertoire. George is more than comfortable in the pick and roll. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Van Vliet. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Detroit. Putting others before himself, racking up assists. Hey, I wish That's I played with more guys like foul. him. They'll take his Second third and fourth foul. free throw shots at the game right here. At the line for Philadelphia, Mason Plumley. First free throw is good. Richard, the year before you entered the league in 2001, the Sixers made the NBA Finals and haven't since. Yeah, I just love watching Allen Iverson that season. Won the MVP, averaged 31 points per game, almost 20 more points than any of his teammates. He was the offensive firepower every single night. Back to DeRozan. 
Here's the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. This quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Trailing by two. Inside. Here's Van Vliet. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. Oh, tricky play by Van Vliet to beat the close coverage. Slipping pass there for the finish. Here's DeRozan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. Tell you what, RJ, in over a decade, all DeMar DeRozan has done is get better. Yeah, he's continuing to become a more efficient scorer. He's been a star. Multiple All-Star games, multiple All-NBA awards, and he's been doing it with different franchises as well. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. It's tipped. Turner with the steal. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Thompson. Tough for a guard to hang in the paint like that, but not DeRozan. Pass to Harris. DeRozan with the rebound. Magic have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. His first personal foul. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Magic. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. So it's Orlando now after the miss from Mason Plumley, And it's Kevin Kelly missing. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here is with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. Here's George. Hits the target from 18 feet. George has got eight points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now Harris. After the miss three from Clay Thompson. Harris. The rebound by Turner. Orlando leading. Smart passes to Thompson. The Magic again can't hit. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Williams, he's checked in for the 76er. Thompson comes in for him. Mark! Williams Thompson. Thompson against Thompson. Thompson passes to Kevin Gill. Good D by Mobley. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. And it's good for two. We see this night in and night out. Thompson uses his size and elevation to make tough shots in the paint. Now here's Smart. Playing Milwaukee, he was nearly unstoppable. The Rosens shot is off. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Orlando trailing here. It's up a three. Mobley with the rebound. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Van Vliet against DeRozan. Van Vliet can't get it to go. To the inside. Smart. He gets hauled in by Paul George. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Now here's Thompson. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Detroit. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Smart. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders out of position. 76ers have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. 
adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. And some changes here for the 76ers. Boucher comes in for Mobley. And it's McDaniels in for Fred Van Vliet. Culver's checked in for the Magic. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Smart. And Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. Can they get it? And it's Schroeder missing. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. The moment that last three went in, Thompson must have been thinking, get me the ball, I'll answer it with a three. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. They played pretty solid basketball, but a few miscues is all it takes to turn a win into a loss, especially against a good team. Jock Landale's checked in for the match. And the shot's good for Boucher. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to get. And Thompson kicks to Culver. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Fourth, team five. The Magic trail by six. This is it to Schroeder. Down low. With the fadeaway. And Boucher sends it back. Thompson outside. Landale grabs the miss. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. It's his first trip to the line. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for two. He's off on the second. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. Thompson. That is his first that foul of the game. Personal foul. Yeah, way to get there Fifth first and foul. be willing to absorb the contact. DeRozan with it. Working on McDaniels. Culver's shot is off. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 12-4 run. Nice shot by Thompson. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to, to a score. Daniels. Just a great ball game. Gets to DeRozan. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. DeRozan's got seven points. Hey, look, when DeRozan is shooting with confidence, he is dangerous, especially catching and firing just like that. There's the pass to McDaniels. If a floater, Landale grabs the miss. The Magic trail by four. From past the arc, no good on that one. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'd be days like this. They have missed his production. Boucher's shot is off. The Magic shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Thompson passes to Culver. And then Culver with the dunk. He just plays some of the most selfless basketball. Great time by Clay. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the first. Floats it up for Williams. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Now, here's DeRozan. He had 25 points in the win against Milwaukee. Okay, look. When you play aggressively, you can really get to the line. Just ask him. Landale misses. The 76ers leading by four. Short can't hit from the elbow. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. On the wing, Thompson. He's guarded by Schroeder. McDaniels dishes to Thompson. And here's George for three. And they recover it. 
Chalk up two there. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Uh oh, yeah, you think you gotta stop and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's Thompson. That one wide left. And DeRozan. Here we go. Now that's his dribble drive. That's one of DeMar DeRozan's superpowers. George, that's a two-pointer. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the Philadelphia 76ers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And we'll be back with you shortly. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. And so in the game for the Magic, we got Buddy Heald. Allen is out there with Chris Paul. And there's Miles Turner. And it's Bates Diop been at the four slot. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and Miles focus Turner. on the backboard. And this is what Paul is known for. He is a shrewd distributor with a pass-first mentality. Here's Van Vliet. Thompson, high post. He's against Turner. Here's Williams. Orlando grabs the miss. Turner's got five rebounds tonight, and it's Heal off the drive. Paul outside. Back to Turner. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's eight points for Miles Turner. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. To Harris. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one is on heel. A steady score throughout his career. Harris is still drawing lots of attention. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps for Philadelphia? Showing their energy so far, sprinting up and down the floor, getting out in transition, and taking advantage. And also, how about the way they decimated the opposition on the offensive glass, getting an impressive number of second-chance points. Plumley is checked in for the 76ers. Kevin Mobley comes in for Chris Boucher. RJ, I've got a hypothetical for you. If we did a fantasy draft and you had the first overall pick, who would you take? I'm going to be honest. Right now, I'm going to have to probably say Jokic just because there's no defense that has been created that can stop his offensive game. So ultimately, it doesn't matter how good of a defender he is. But second, I'm still going with Brown. And Orlando making a change here. DeRozan's checked in. Orlando he is single-handedly dropping the temperature in That's here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Allen passes to Paul. The three traps in the tray. Chris Paul. Paul's got the game tied up here for the Magic. From deep, Paul doesn't hold back when pulling the trigger, especially when he sees the chance. Here's Harris. Orlando grabs the miss. DeRozan trying to get open. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his third personal It's going to be a Mason Plum. I've been watching his game a long time, and there is absolutely nothing that Paul can't do on the basketball court. He really does have the whole package. No good on the second free throw. The 76ers have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Harris dishes to Plumlee. Just five on the clock. 
Thompson kicks to Mobley. That one good for two. Finding and taking those opportunities. Mobley does a good job of not passing up that good mid-range shot. Magic have gone a nice 3 of 3 to start the second. Over in the corner, Allen. Thompson with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Thompson outside. Pass to Mobley. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Turner's got seven rebounds in the game. Allen shot is off. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now, here's Thompson. He has six. Here's Van Vliet. That shot off. Paul with the defensive effort. Cloak loose. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olmer. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Thompson twins, Ahmed and Asar, became the first set of twins to become first-round draft picks this summer. Ahmed said making the NBA has been a whole dream since the third grade. Asar added, I always have someone there to push me and to keep it 100 with me. We're never too high or too Money low. Here. And we're always Three. just there for each other want one another to succeed. For the Kevin? Oh, man, that's tremendous. David, thanks. And the 76ers call time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his time out to try and reset things on offense, shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. For the match, Kevin Gellies checked in. And Culver's subbed in for DeMar DeRozan. Van Vliet looking around. In the corner, it's Harris. Four on the shot clock. Overhealed. Another miss by Philadelphia. And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Ball passes to Allen. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Locking the heart down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Philadelphia's gone 0 2 from deep here in the second. Passes to Van Vliet. Fires the three. A three pointer is right on target. Van Vliet's got his third basket of the night. Van Vliet to hit that three-point shot. He's an efficient scorer from beyond the arc. Heald kicks to Allen. To the middle. Paul outside. Van Vliet with it. Chris Paul covering. Pull-up jumper, and the jumper falls for him. Now it's a 5-point 76ers lead. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Allen for three. Gets hauled in by Harris. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. To the paint. Here's Plumlee. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Magic now we see the league's top assist team since All-Star. They've been displaying some great teamwork. The Magic in second. Clearly, this group's on the same page offensively. And the chemistry continues to improve as well. The assist totals off the charts. Heel dishes to Culver. And the pass to Paul. Beyond the arc. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. The Magic trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Hits it out to Allen. And the ball goes out of bounds. Touched by Plumlee. A moment now to check out some numbers for him. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Daniels, he's checked in for Plumlee. The Magic also changing it up. Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. And Smart subbed in for Chris Paul. 
Thompson against Thompson. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Mobley the pass to Van Vliet. Drills the three-pointer. Van Vliet's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Philadelphia. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. It's good. Marcus Smart. Smart's got his second bucket of the game to go. Certain players search out contact. It's a skill. Marcus Smart is one of them. He is normally the person initiating the contact. The drive by Thompson. In it goes. That's his third bucket. He's missed five so far. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And lead against Smart. Here's Kevin Kelly. Good D by Mobley. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the things he can do. And Kevin, you got to love his skill set for a seven-footer. Really diverse in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and his feel for the game. What a valuable player to have on your team. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Williams, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. And it's Paul George in for Fred Van Vliet. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Orlando Magic. Eight-point game. DeRozan passes to Turner, and it's slammed in by Turner. Oh, just a clever play by DeRozan, using the pick and roll to make space for someone else. Ed Daniels finds Thompson. Back to McDaniel. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his sixth assist on the night. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. Now here's Smart. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. Thompson passes to Landale. Good D by Mobley. The 76ers leading by eight. Here's McDaniels. And it's sent back by Turner. An elite rim protector and shot blocker. Turner excels at rising up and denying those shots. Now, here's DeRozan. He's got nine. Thompson, Thompson with the bucket. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Here's McDaniels. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Break down for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. And DeRozan kicks to Smart. Driving to the basket. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Ooh, there wasn't a lot of room there to work for Smart, but he found a crease and took advantage of it. On the wing, Thompson. Pass to Mobley. Thompson surveying the floor. Six on the shot clock. Can hit the step back jump shot. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Textbook defense take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. Here's Landale. Last game he had 10 points. Goes back up. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Oh, he's so good at getting defense to foul him because Clay looks to shoot pretty much every time he touches it. It forces defense to overcommit. Chris Boucher is checked in for Philadelphia. Both shots good from the strike. The 76ers leading by three. Pass to McDaniels. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Orlando, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Philadelphia's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Here's Thompson. It's tipped. That's why you always got to get a hand up. You never know. Marcus Smart, great anticipation and extra effort. 
and you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Outside DeRozan, the dish to Thompson, stolen by George. Puts up a deep three, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And just look at the effort from Thompson on defense, still an underrated part of his game. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Philadelphia ahead, up five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So we got to keep shooting them. Hopefully we start making some of them. Uh, you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Fred Van Vliet has been the story in this one. He had 12 points, two rebounds, and one assist. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Love to see a team grind for those offensive boards. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this stage. And Shaq, let's get your input on the magic. They just keep giving the ball away. That's not how you win. I understand this defense is giving the problem. If they can just cut down on the turnovers, I think they can win this game. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Fred Van Vliet really making a difference here. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, yeah, let's just say his success will continue. Evan Mobley is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's George. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Plumley in at the center. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. And here's Smart after Paul George getting his three to go. Smart dishes to heel. That one's not going to go. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And here's George for three. They get it again. And it's sent back by Turner. Healed with it. Now guarded by Plumlee. DeRozan for three. Here's Turner. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Evan Mobley. Taking a look here at number four, DeRozan. The past month has been surreal. Averaging about 27 points per, six rebounds, and five assists. And the phrase stats don't lie absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. Yeah, they rely on his production night in and night out. There are times when he absolutely carries them. Now, here's George. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Connects from three-point range. Van Vliet's got the lead up to 10 now for Philadelphia. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Marcus nice Smart. move. Hill showing he's not just a three-point shooter. Here's Mobley. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. Harris finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. And the 76ers lead by 10. Smart passes to DeRozan. Turner inside. Guarded by Harris. And it's Miles Turner Turner's. finishing it off. And a big night for Miles Turner so far. Really playing hard, trying to make every possession count. Handley wide open. No good on the three. And sometimes on defense, you could just get lucky. Smart kicks to DeRozan. Looking to end his cold spell. And finished off by DeRozan. Quality play recognition by DeRozan. Scans the defense, hits off the pick. Van Vliet passes to George. Back to Van Vliet. There's the three. Thompson with the rebound. The Magic trail by six. 
Here's Smart. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's and Van Vliet picks one up. Look, that's going to happen when Smart gets in there with those trees. If you're a little too aggressive, things can happen. The Magic making a switch here. Allen's checked in. And so, Smart nails both of them. Look, Marcus Smart is the pulse of the team. He plays with passion and does whatever his team needs from him. Offensive rebound. Here's Mobley. You can't get that one. The Magic trail by four. Smart on the wing. Back to Allen. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now. Here in the third. Healed with the bucket. The adjustments they've made offensively. They're putting guys in a position now to succeed. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Outside DeRozan. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Allen shot is off. And close to making the defense pay. Oh, wow. yes! And putting his explosive athleticism on full display there. George is capable of some highlight real dunks. Now here's Smart. Eight points for him. Mar DeRozan on the wing. Feeds it to Turner. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. DeRozan's got five assists in the game. And Philadelphia calls time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basketball. Welcome to court, your Sixers ENT. Orlando making some changes. Kevin Gelly's checked in. And it's Pat Connington in for DeMar DeRozan. Here's Van Vliet. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. Heel the pass to Kevin Gelly. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Allen. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Harris. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolutely terrible shooting this week. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. It's because he's reading where the shots are going and getting to the right position. Just outworking everyone early on the glass. Here's Schroeder. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Now Schroeder. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. RJ, you look at Dennis Schroeder, incredibly fast, but also a veteran leader now. Yeah, he's really mature. He knows how to make plays without making too many mistakes. That's what you get from a guy with 10-plus years in this league. Chris Boucher is checked in for Mason Plumley. Schroeder hits them both. So Van Vliet will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've led by as much as 10 from downtown. Offensive rebound, Mobley lays it up and banks it in. Mobley's got six points. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Connington kicks to Allen. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Williams comes in for Mobley. And McDaniels subbed in for Tobias Harris. Now here is George. 18 points for him. To the inside. And then Heal with the tongue. As a larger guard, Heal can get up with the big boys. The 76ers lead. Van Vliet outside. Here's McDaniels. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. 
feed the interior, good things will happen. The 76ers making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. First team foul. At the line for Philadelphia. The Magic trail by four. Passes it to Connaughton. To the wing right side. Schroeder. And a miss there on the triple. He's got to keep the ball moving. That's just not a good shot with the D set up like it was. McDaniels in the post. He's defended by Connaughton. And now let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard as we've gotten into the second half of the season. These teams have become better and better. Scoring points off turnovers. Number one, the Magic. And since the break, we've seen them ambush their opponents with that attacking brand of defense. And boy, have they reaped the rewards offensively. Orlando making some changes. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Buddy Heal. Clay Thompson comes in for Pat Connaughton. And Marcus Smart has subbed in for Grayson Allen. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Now here's DeRozan. And finished off DeMar by DeRozan. DeRozan. Oh, wow. What a move from DeRozan. That's just not fair. And there's the pass to Boucher. Back to Thompson. To the middle. Good. Great play by Williams to shut it up. 12 points from a man, Thompson. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Now let's take a look at Paul George. Some stats on him. Since the All-Star break, he's been unstoppable. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And it's his lightning quick hands that have put him in the top three in steals. Also his tremendous anticipation. He's constantly all over the basketball. And when you can have a night like this at George's age, that's something special. Here's Thompson. Rebound by the 76ers. Williams has got his second rebound here tonight. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. They get it back. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Williams has got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Here's Thompson. It's rebounded by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And finished off by DeRozan. Once DeMar has momentum behind him, let me tell you, watch out because he's going to put on a show. Now, here's George. He's got 20. Back to Thompson. He tries for three, and it's Orlando with the rebound. Smart dishes to Thompson. Shoots over McDaniel. The shot by Thompson, no good. Just an ugly show for him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it, just ugly, and that hasn't helped. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. Violation. Jump ball call. Philadelphia with the ball. Williams passes to Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. The 76ers again can't hit it. Two Smart dishes two to Rosen. Smart kicks it over to Schroeder. The V2 to Rosen. That shot off. Good D by Thompson. And now we've got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers. And what has been the trend for Chris Paul? And the trend that he's going through with his assist numbers dropping over the past few years isn't a good one. I don't want to say he's become a more selfish player because that, that's too harsh, but he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot rather than creating for his teammates. He may want to rethink that. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Pass to Boucher. Outside, George. Williams inside the line. 
uses the glass to finish the layup. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. They trail by seven. Down low, DeRozan, and finished off by DeRozan. Ooh, and when DeMar DeRozan is cooking with grease, he is borderline unstoppable. And he's feeling it right now. Took the opportunity when he saw it. George has got 12 points in just the second half. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. DeRozan's DeRozan. shot is good. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Now here's Williams. He's got eight. Philadelphia moving the ball around. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. And he's made his mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their squad. Shooter passes to Smart. Thompson outside. Off target with his three. Here's McDaniels. Offline with the baseline jumper. Not going to go that time. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. 